guys and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a review on dagobah jedi training diorama set so diorama sets are most of the time quite hard to build and they're also 18 plus so i'm a bit underage hopefully the lego police doesn't come and chase me after this but i have done a fill build on my channel where there's a huge twist and i build the entire thing outside of nature yeah Good thing I didn't lose any leg, uh, I mean, no spoilers. So, um, let's actually get to the review and see what's so good about this set and what's bad about it. Let's go, let's get into it. So now let's get onto the review. First, I really want to say this set has way too many studs because I really hurt my fingers from putting all of those down. And yeah, but it did turn out really good, and it's a great uh, place for you to put LEDs and things like that. Now, this set has got a lot of uh, small details, and it looks really nice. I really do like this part, St Lego Star Wars, do or do not, there is no try. That's a really nice quote from Yoda, and it's really nice for Lego to put it there. Now, the X-Wing thing, the X-Wing... Um, well, I think it's a little bit too simple. Like, it's... I just think it's really... It's lacking a lot of detail. I think they could have put a bit more detail and... Maybe a little bit bigger, that's all I'm saying. But it, it does look really good with the studs over here that make it look like it's bubbling and things like that. Now, I really like this part, which even Grogu would like, which is a frog over here. Grogu would absolutely love that. So, yeah. Um, one special piece that I really liked was this one over here. It's like a lamp piece. Um, I only have ever seen it like a couple of times. But it looks really cool and I like it. Then we have R2-D2. So, I'll show you guys. Now, I really like this one. As you can see, he has like special printing. Like muddy printing and... Lego really went all out on this one. Like, even his head part got, got mud. Well, well, he just fell down. Let me just pick him up. And there you go. If I can put him back in. Now, we'll just leave him to the side for now. He can stay right over there. Now, let's get to the swamp part. Like, I really like these these parts like it really matches the Dagobah feeling of wood and everything Th this this wooden part was also really good because the technique was a bit hard to do because Lego's manuals you know how they are they look well basically they do not match the colors I was expecting a bit more for Lego to fix it because this is an this is a diorama set but I guess Lego did not care. Now let's get to this part. Here we have the other two minifigures. We have Luke, who's just closing his eyes, I guess, trying to take a nap. But he does have another face as well, which is his, um, yeah, his expression of him uh, figuring out how to hang with one hand, which, yeah, we'll leave him to the side as well. I really like that piece that you can put down for Luke to hold on to, which is actually a really nice idea of Lego to put it in, because I think that's probably one of the only ways to do it. Then we have Yoda. Now the Yoda minifigure actually is looks really good. It does match Yoda from Dagobah, and the design is really good. I also really like the head printing because it actually because he even has his hair I guess but it looks more like <laughs> well it looks more like gray thing gray stripes but yeah Yoda's looking really good okay now let's get to Yoda's hot there we have a little snake um like I do have one part which I did not like about that it's that you can't actually place him down he can only like stay there which it is a bit an over annoying and yeah um so I, one of the designs is, is that, you see, under those, it doesn't just end there. There is a couple more, 
starts going backwards which is really nice and that's really cool of lego to put it so it actually looks like it's ending now what's really cool about the swamp is that under the green uh, studs there's actually like a brown brown and yellow um br bricks and studs to make it look like it's actually a swamp like what's under the swamp it's mud and everything like that so that's really nice of lego to put it now let's move to this side but you can't see one of yoda's windows over there they don't actually work sadly but they do look cool for just staying there i guess now let's move on the entrance is actually really good i just wish they would have put a door but lego didn't make a door but that's completely fine it still looks really cool there we have another non-working window i don't know why you would need a window that doesn't work but i guess lego wants windows that don't work there we have a little like uh, smoke coming out which is really cool because on the other side that's where the that's where the stove actually is which is really nice now let's move on now this is the interior which is actually really good you can see his lightsaber up there which is really nice of lego to put it uh that's a good uh, that's good attention to detail his bed with a hollow crown over there i actually really like that piece it really matches a hollow crown and then you have the little stove area where he has his pot that's boiling and it gives out steam that's really nice it's quite cozy Yoda is living the life. Now let's move in background, and this piece always keeps on falling for some reason. Now let's talk to some techniques, and yeah. Now the techniques were really nice. I really like the the curving technique that techniques that were used because it really made the hut look like it's actually curved and everything. May like this was also a really good technique of used using these parts and some other parts inside there and the these parts are what i really like because you don't see them most a lot of times now we move on to the x-wing technique parts which is under that i'm just going to take it off so you guys can see you act there's actually a hole so you can put that in and boom but the thing is under this is actually oh i can't take it off well it's fine um anyways so it just doesn't spin at all and even though it has one of those spinning parts and that's the bubbling effect i was talking about which i actually quite liked now you can easily put this on again well no you can't but you get the point um i'm just quickly gonna fix that Oh wow, it's magically fixed. Well, that's fine. Anyways, um, the minifigures and the set are all really good. And um, I really like it. It really shows Dagobah. So, like it. Luke, I'm just going to make Luke doing his forest pose. Trying to get out the X-Wing so that he can, get, he can go and save everyone on Cloud City. Yoda just judging him. And giving him emotional damage. You know how it goes. But anyways. Uh, tell me what you guys think about this. Uh, diorama set in the comments. And whenever you like it or not. But tell me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like. See you on the next video. Bye.